What we're gonna do, chat? We're gonna watch the Dawn Trailer job action trailer, and we're going to rank the jobs after watching them in the trailer, which is gonna be so much fun. You guys are gonna help me out with it, and we'll do our best. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. What a vibe, yeah. Okay, Dragoon, let's go. Let's see. What do we got? So we've got the gap closing out. Look, I love Dragoon's animations. I think they're super gorgeous. That's so cool. Tough one in my opinion. Honestly, up the top is definitely being above. I think Dragoon is A tier. It's super clean looking. And the changes that we know of so far for Dragoon are looking pretty good. So I think Dawn uh in Dawn Trail, Dragoon is gonna be like an A tier job. Easy! First job so easy. Alright, next up we have Paladin. Nothing really too exciting about Paladin, in my honest opinion. You know? Wings always looks cool. Paladin, Paladin, Paladin. What are we gonna do with you? It's either a C or D for me. I'm trying to think if there's anything worse than, like, than that. I'm also now thinking as what we're gonna see from Paladin in Dawn Trail. Like, is Paladin gonna be like a cool badass job in Dawn Trail? Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to put Paladin in the D. I'm sorry. Rest in peace. This is not very exciting. What's next? Warrior. I feel like even the sound effects for Warrior is more like epic than Paladin, you know? That looks cool. Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is when you know it's good. I want to watch that shit again. Oh! Dude, that axe is huge. <laughs> that is one giga axe. <laughs> Isn't that just the best? Oh my god. Oh. I think A. Look, I, I love... That last animation, I think it's gorgeous. I just sorry think it cuts the S. It's just, it's just not. It, I'm sorry, Len. I'm sorry. I just on a more personal level, Sarah Jane's tier list. I think it's an, it's an A. Let's go from left to right as well. Better than Dragoon done dirty. I'm sorry, Addy. You know why I probably do that though? Because I haven't played Dragoon myself, so I don't have like a connection with Dragoon. I've at least played a little bit of Warrior. My, my Warrior is level 69, by the way. All right, moving on. <laughs> okay, Astro. Astro. 
Astro is always such a beautiful job. I love the changes that we're getting with Astro with the cards. Um, I think it's really, really great. Oh no, I love Astro too. I do. It's gorgeous. Oh, that's so nice. I really, really like it. What, what we know so far about Asher. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty convinced where I'm gonna be putting Asher. I'm, I'm really happy about it. We're getting rid of the RNG, and I think that is something that's super important. Astro's got an S tier for Dawn Trail. It's an S tier job, Dawn Trail, 100%. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more Astros as well, which is super exciting. All right, moving on. Dancer. Dancer is also such a beautiful job just to watch. So pretty. Huge. I'm trying to think back to the life letter and I don't remember them saying too much about Dancer and the changes that we're going to be seeing with Dancer. I think it's still going to be very much the same um, with an extra skill, essentially. I don't know. Dancer, VLC, in my opinion. I think C. I'm going to go with a C for Dancer for Dawn Trail. Nothing really too exciting exciting happening with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't hate me. <laughs> All right, Reaper, let's go. Let's go, Reaper. Yeah, I'm loving this dead Deadlands in the background. So excited for that. Reaper has really flashy animations too. Like that looks so Ooh, it looks so good. I love it. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> it's mostly okay. Reaper isn't changing much, but it's a really cool looking job. The new added skills that it's getting do look very freaking cool. Looks better than Dancer in my opinion. I think Reaper is gonna like lose its hype a little bit for Dawn Trail because of like Picto and um, Viper. Oh, it's like an A or a B. I feel like it is in, in line with Warrior and Dragoon. I, I'm gonna put it in A tier. Reaper was like that S tier for Endwalker in my opinion. I don't know, they're all pretty much the same. You guys make me question myself, how dare you? How dare you guys make me question? Wait, okay, I'm gonna reshuffle. Cause I'm also gonna do left and right. I'm gonna put Dragoon at the start of A. I, okay, with Reaper and Warrior, it's like I, I like the new skills that's been added, right? And I'm really happy about it. And that's why they're in A. And I'm, I'm gonna keep them there for now. I'm, I'm keeping them there. If that, that's where I want them. They're, they're staying, they're staying. They're not moving. Red Maid. I love Red Mage. Like I love playing Red Mage. 
but kind of got done dirty. I, I love the animation of that last skill. I think it's really nice. Unfortunately, that's it. This is, this is, get ready, this is it. Red Mage does get some quality of life adjustments. Please enlighten me. I, look, I actually really love, really, really love Red Mage. I think it's a really fun job. I was kind of hoping for something a bit different. Main benefit is the AoE combo cost reduction. Well, that's good. You know what? That puts it above Dancer then. Oh boy. DLC, my friend. C, because it's just another finisher. B, because of what Smiggy said. That the main benefit is the AoE combo cost reduction, which I think is pretty badass. Also B, just so it's not empty. <laughs> Machinist. <laughs> Machine is G tier. <laughs> A solid G chat. <laughs> Wait, that was something I really liked. I'm trying to remember what it was now. No, it has the the the, the, the like the machine guns, right? I think from what my memory. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh yeah, that's cool. True. That that's so cool. I, I like that. <laughs> that's so pug! <laughs> A for America. <laughs> Better than Red Mage. Look, the only good thing is like the gun, to be honest. I know we want A for America, but if we do it the tier list properly. Is Machinist getting any quality of life changes that I'm unsure about? True drill charges as an example. Ooh. I think they're pretty equal then. But now I'm questioning Reaper. Wait, is Reaper getting any quality of life changes? <laughs> Reaper looks really cool and I love Reaper, but I feel like Reaper's hype has fallen. Reaper's time to shine has finished. Reaper's time to shine was Endwalker. It is now Dawn Trail time, okay? Reaper and Machinist both get over cap protection. That's right, yes. Okay, I'm really happy with B now then. Someone remind me why I put Warrior and A. Was it just because of the big hammer? Let's continue. Ninja. I'm not that impressed just yet. Do we want to look at the frog again? Bro, that's some Naruto shit right there. A lot of people are going to enjoy playing Ninja in Dawn Trail than they did in Endwalker. So, I think this may leave Ninja in a pretty good standing. Yeah, it's a lot of quality of life changes in Dawn Trail. And this is really cool. I really like this. This looks really nice. I see you, Warrior May is getting mad at me, but shh, Ninja is going up in the world, okay? It's going up in the world. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. All right, let's go, Sage. PlayStation.
so flashy, but it's just like, I don't know. Yeah, Sage, to me, it's just, uh, I've never really liked Sage though as well. Like the animations are super flashy, you know? Yeah, it's just bland. Yeah, I think that's a really good way to put it, bland. Is it better than Paladin? I think so. Ooh. The only changes we're seeing in Sage is the AoE Cardia and AoE Dot changes, nothing on the class. Like, I think what we're going to see in Dawn Trail is a lot of Sages moving off of Sage, I think. Because there's just more exciting things happening with the other healer jobs. At least Sage gets like a bit more exciting than Paladin. Do you reckon behind Paladin? It's that, it's that bad? It's pretty equal. I'm, I'm going to say they're pretty equal, okay? Black Mage. Oh, this was so hype, dude. I'm, I'm already excited to watch this again. <laughs> the new gauge looks so good. It's just like automatically S tier. <laughs> That's so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. So good. Let's talk about Black Mage. We get to move our ley lines to our, our new position which I think is a huge quality of life change for Dawn Trail and people are going to be super excited for that. Also, they no longer regen MP um, just over time. It's only by casting ice spells, correct? You guys think that's like a, a nerf? In downtime, it's a huge nerf. Exactly. Okay, you're right. I think I'm going to put in A. If it wasn't for the ley lines moving, it would be like... A C. Do you know what I mean? Of the ley lines and stuff. It's that that is super exciting. The new gauge does look really good. Like that that's included in the A. I think the new gauge looks really good. <gasps> Viper! I'm excited for Viper. Look, I can see there's gonna be a lot of people maining Viper for Dawn Trail. I love the gauge as well, it looks so good. It's so flashy. I really like how fast it plays. I think that's awesome. God, Tia made my jaw drop. <laughs> the blue fire, oh, let's go. Yes. Yeah, that's so freaking cool. It's so fast! <laughs> My 80 HD will have a field day as my boss. <laughs> I think that's an easy one. Everyone's gonna be super excited to try Viper out in Dawn Trail. Myself included, I'm super excited to try it out. It looks really fast paced and flashy. Like what, what's there not to be excited about for Viper? This is Dawn Trail tier list, right? Like this is where I think people are gonna log in and be like, all right, time to pick up Viper, let's main Viper, time to pick up Astro again, sort of thing. That was easy. That was super easy. Moving on, wide mage. Look, at least I found it. That would have drove me insane. I can't remember the quality of life stuff that's happening for wide mage that they announced in Life Butter. Yeah, it's got a gap closer, but... Hmm. Yeah, Swift cast to 40 seconds, but I think that's for a lot of the caster level 90 jobs only. So only when you get to level 90. Yeah, that gap closer is so nice.
That's so pretty. I really like that last animation as well. I'm now also has added three nukes after presents. Uh, look, I'm leaning more towards a B. Yeah, gap closer, three new damage abilities and two new heals. I, that's huge for white mage, really. There's a lot happening. I'm so confused. Like, I'm I'm quite impressed with white, white mage. I'm putting white mage in a B tier. Deal with it. Moving on. Monk. Wait, Monk is getting some really good quality of life changes. I totally forgot about this. On the new gauge as well. They ruined it? How? Wait, they get a fireballer! I just remembered about the fireball. So Monk gets a combo flexibility and chakra overcut protection. Monk is getting good quality of life, but losing their party buff is a big loss. Okay. I don't play Monk. I like the fireball. I really hope that, yeah, Brotherhood's not really being touched. All right, so Monk is in a kind of a, a funky position then. Monk and Dawn Child, they're going to be making it more welcoming for people to play that haven't played it before. But people that do play Monk now, they may not like these changes as it's going to throw them off a little bit. There is more happening for Monk than, say, what is happening for our Red Mage Machinists. Like, they're getting a quality of life change as well, but it's not as extreme as, like, what Monk is, what's happening for Monk, which, which is exciting. So I actually think that Monk probably belongs at the end of the A tier. What they're trying to do is encourage more people to play Monk because Monk has already, always kind of seemed like a job that's very scary to pick up, is very complicated. They might not understand like how to play properly. So I think this is good like this. Personally, myself, I have a level 90 Monk, but I never play it because it seems quite overwhelming. So actually, I played Monk going through Shadowbringers back before I streamed the game. And I did my best playing Monk, but I can tell you right now, I did not play like how it's meant to be played you know what I mean uh, I'm sure I looked up like my rotation stuff on the balance but I obviously probably didn't play that greatly so this will be good or welcoming for people which is nice cool beans all right moving on dark knight hey ash Earthquake. Do we have so many edgy jobs in Final Fantasy XIV? <laughs> red mage category i think or even c dark is dark that is the best way to put it <laughs> oh, ooh, mm, mm, mm. it looks cool it does look cool and flashy but that's just dark in a nutshell though do you know what i mean people aren't gonna be logging into dawn trail and being like oh my god i can't wait to play dark knight like i prefer the the new skill that we got from warrior look it's either a b or a c for dark knight i think it's a c Oh, Dark gets the, the ghost thing too. Okay, I'm not playing Dark Knight A. I, I, I see. I'll be. I'll be. I'll give it a B, okay? Just because it's getting a lot of the similar quality of life changes. Look, I want to put White Mage here and then these four kind of behind it. I don't remember Bard's quality. Oh, this. Okay, no. 
Bot is huge. We can just play songs now. <laughs> we can just play songs. Oh my god. <laughs> Song playing. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> yeah, definitely an A for Bard. Yeah, I, I don't, don't even have to watch the rest of this. Just because the quality, quality of life change itself is so huge. How exciting. questions huge quality of life which a lot of even people that play bard will be super happy with plus it might even influence more people to actually play bard which is really nice are we ready for my main my main job summoner let's go phoenix What do you mean we get a really cool solo Bahamut? You ready? Let me get that ability off the steering light. Bahamut. Okay. Oh boy. I'm gonna be honest. When I first saw Solar Bahamut, I was like, this is really cool. But now it's just like, have a, an upgraded Bahamut without it actually being something really cool and different, if that makes sense. Like, people in chat were like, you know, give us Odin or like something uh, kind of a bit more badass, you know? Odin would have been really freaking cool. <laughs> or Alexander, like, but yeah, it just being like a different version of a Bahamut is like a bit sad in a way. Yeah, it's, it's like exciting, but I do kind of wish there was like something a bit more. Look, we're just going to have to wait and see. Not talking about rotation wise, because that's in the unknown. We don't really know what's happening with that. I'll give Dancer a friend in front of Dancer though. <laughs> I was just uh, hoping for a little bit more. Summoners not getting any actual quality of life changes either though, right? Where at least the White Mage, Red Mage, Machinas, Dark, and Reaper are getting all quality of life changes, where Summoner, it's not. Oh well, it is what it is. I, I still love Summoner and I'll probably still play it a lot. Samurai! What's happening with Samurai? This is getting me like really freaking hyped for Dawn Trail now as well. <laughs> Give me Dawn Trail now, please. That's nice. That's 
it's cool, but it's not making me want to go into Dawn Trail and be like, I want to play Samurai. I think he goes with the Selmino, I'm sorry. At least the final, like, skill, the new skill that we're getting looks really cool. Yeah, Sam is fun, but it has lost its flair. You're right. Yeah, versus the Viper stuff. Yeah, but Viper is still very new and exciting. Like, that's why it's up there. People are going to want to play Viper because it's new and it looks really fast paced and blue fire and things like that. I'm, I'm just trying to think if he goes down to D, but I think we'll keep him and see. Moving on. <gasps> Scholar. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> Scholar, yeah. I think this is gonna be an, an, an S tier. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that is my one like little bit of dislike. I wish the wings looked more like fairy wings instead of angel wings, right? To me, they look very angelic, which is nice. Or even just big, bigger. Maybe it's like the color of them. Like maybe it could have stayed in that like angelic shape, but maybe like given them like little patterns to like bring in that sort of fairy side to it. I don't know, just because I've always seen Scholar is very like fairy pixie, like pretty sort of thing where like with the angel wings it's yeah more like why mage sort of vibes i don't know i wish they made scholar a bit melee like have some melee bonks oh my god can you imagine a little fairy going up and like whacking it oh my god that'd be so cute it's weird because um like the boil effect and the chain strat are like futuristic effects and now an angel and fairy messy mix yeah i feel that too it is a bit of a messy mix anyway let's keep watching I think Scholar is going to be really exciting to play in Dawn Trial and I think a lot of people are hyped for it. I think Scholar is on the same level as Bard in my opinion. I think that's good. The changes aren't as like crazy as Astro, you know what I mean? But it's still like really cool. So I'm going to put it with A. By just going from the trailer alone for Skull at the moment. I think it puts an A, but maybe we find out more about it, which actually brings it to an S tier, but obviously we we don't know yet. But I'm, I'm quite happy with that. All right, Pictomancer, yes. S tier. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm playing straight away. I'm gonna log in and play instantly. Instantly logging in and playing. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm excited from what we saw when we saw Yoshi P playing the job. Look at the hammer! It's so cute! Uh -huh. It looked really fun to play. No, I like the animations. I really like the animations. It's like that cartoon style. Like, I, I love that. Very anime, very cartoon. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm into that. It's different as well, you know, it's different. It's not just like same old flashy animations. Like that looks, that looks so good. I love it. Oh, look at him. The grass growing is awesome. It's gorgeous. I love this. 100% STR. Just like everyone's going to be super excited to be playing Pictoman. So it's going to be so much fun. Definitely STR. Probably go like this. That's probably the way. I can't stand Warrior from Pedge on Work. I don't really know why Warrior is there, to be honest. I kind of feel like putting Warrior down a B. I am sorry to you Warrior lovers in the chat, but I'm going to have to put Warrior down into the B tier because 
These guys are just a bit more superior, I'm sorry. For the changes that are coming to Dawn Trail. Look, I can't have Bard and Warrior in the same line. Warrior looks cool, okay? I don't hate tanks. <laughs> watch Gunbreaker go to D tier. I'm gonna watch Gunbreaker, okay? Let's watch the Gunbreaker drop action trailer. I have level 90 Gunbreaker, by the way. I'm speechless. Loki, let chat know what you think about the gun breaker changes. <laughs> Nothing. What makes gun breaker good? Gun breaker got a new three hit combo that doesn't use cartridges as well as a new action. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty cool. It's also Lionheart from Final Fantasy VIII. I haven't played Final Fantasy VIII. Don't hate me. I mean, chat is mad. Maybe we, we should pull Warrior down there. <laughs> nah, this is it. <laughs> this is it. I'm I'm done. Sorry, wait, let me check the left to right. I think that. I'll just move them to there, I think. Machinist before Red Mage. I can't, like, this, this whole row is kind of just, like, kind of fucked. <laughs> I don't really know what to do with this. It, it's like... They're just like, it's okay. Dancer, just a boring. Summoner, I just wish it was a bit more exciting. Samurai, boring. Paladin, sleep. Sage, big slips. Yeah, no, this is it. It's done. Chat, give me a rating out of 10. Nine? Three? One went too low. You guys are actual just like in love with Warrior. Like, you're crazy.